Hey guys, Kyle here again, and today I'm gonna check out the Dan Electro 600 millisecond fab delay pedal. Let's do it. Alright guys, hope you're doing great out there today. If this is your first time here at my channel, my name is Kyle and uh, I'm taking the Dan Electro Fab 600 millisecond delay for a spin for the very first time. So guys, full disclosure, I am not really an effects guy, but recently I've become curious about effects pedals, clean tones, stuff that I don't normally mess with, so I'm kind of just exploring that for myself and you guys are along for the ride. So I will not have any sort of expert opinion on this pedal, I'm just gonna give you my honest feedback on it as I play it. The reason that I purchased the Dan Electro Fab Delay is because it seems to get really, really good reviews for an extremely cheap delay pedal. These things come in at like $15 to $20 used on Guitar Center's used site, on eBay, on Reverb. It seems like they sold for somewhere between $25 and $30 brand new. And if you're not gigging out, if you're not stomping on this thing, uh, it seems to be a really solid choice as far as a budget delay pedal goes. If you're just sitting in the studio and this thing's on a pedal board and you're clicking it by hand, not really abusing it, it's probably gonna serve you well. At least, that's what I've gathered from the other reviews that I've watched and from forum posts and stuff like that. I usually do a lot of research before I buy items, so. Yeah, with that being said, I'm kind of a metal and hardcore dude, but I like alternative rock, I like pop punk, and I like kind of folky stuff, so I'm gonna try to play things more along those lines. And for my signal chain, I have my Balagher Espada here with the Evergreen pickups. These are kind of like a hot PAF style pickup. I have a pedal board on the floor here, which I will give you guys a shot of that has uh, an overdrive, a clean boost, a fuzz, a Friedman BEOD Deluxe, and a noise gate, just to get some gain tones. And we're going into the front of the PV Classic 20 mini head. But in between my pedal board and the amp are the delay. So it's, you know, kind of sort of in the loop of my drive pedals and of the front end of the amp. And that is how I have everything hooked up. So uh, let's start playing around with it. On the pedal, it's simple. You've got your delay, you've got your time, and you've got your repeat. So this basically mixes in how much delay you're going to get. If you want it to be more subtle, dial it down. If you want it to be more intense, dial it up. The time is basically how long between repeats, and then the repeat is how many times it repeats. 
I'm surprised I could say that off the top of my head because again, I don't really know much about delay pedals, but that is how it is supposed to function. And then you've got the foot switch here. Again, this is in a plastic uh, housing. This thing is definitely not going to survive any tours or anything like that. In fact, the reason I know about these series is I was watching the guitarist from Super Heavens kind of uh, rig talk that he did and he has the chorus version of this pedal and he said that it has basically been destroyed none of the knobs work and it is essentially set the way it's set for forever so that just kind of goes to show you that yeah these things are not going to stand the test of time if you beat them up but for our purposes like today or in the studio it's going to work just fine so the last part of my signal chain I have the PV Classic 212 cab that matches the Classic 20 mini head and I have an El Nico cream back speaker in there. We've got an SM57 and a Loudon Audio 220 FET condenser microphone. So let's hear how it sounds. Here is my clean tone. And let's kick the pedal on with everything at noon. So as you can see, we've got kind of a short delay going on. Let's go ahead and tap the coil here. All right, so if we pull that repeat back and we pull the time back, we can kind of make it a slap back type delay. So if you wanted to play some sort of aggressive type twangy riffs. Let's turn it off. Yeah, it sounds really dry without it, but as soon as you kick it on, it factors in a little bit. Let's pull up the mix on that delay. And it becomes more apparent. Let's turn it up all the way. That sounds pretty cool. It actually almost is like a reverb at that point. If I were to turn up the repeat. Sounds kind of goofy, but there you go. Let's um, turn that mix back a little bit. Sounds pretty cool for something like that. Don't want to get the copyright strike. But yeah, I am really kind of enjoying it uh, for that type of stuff. If I was going to play more folky Gaslight Anthem, Menzingers type stuff, I think it would work really well for something like that in the way that we have it set up. Maybe just a little bit of adjustment. Let's get some real overdrive going. We've got the Nobles ODR1 on. So let's say we want to make it a little bit spacier. Let's turn that time up. Let's turn a noise gate on and let's turn that repeat up. Let's actually turn that time way up. Let's, uh, let's try to make it as ambient as we possibly can by turning everything all the way up.
almost a little bit too much. Let's turn the time back a little bit and the mix. That seems at least a little bit more musical. It's not as intense or as long. All right, so let's actually turn these knobs back a little bit and I'm gonna kick on my Freedom BE Overdrive on the blue channel, which is kind of like my pop punk rhythm channel. Not that you would really use it for that type of riff. Uh, let's try to play something that you would actually use it for, I guess. We'll turn the mix up a little bit and the time up a little bit. Turn the repeats down. Turn that time up just a tad more to meet that rhythm. Honestly, I think that sounds great. Let's turn it off and see if we're getting any sort of tone cut on the top end, because I know that uh, delay pedals are known to do that, especially cheaper ones. Okay, back on. It's definitely rounding off the top end a little bit. I'm not exactly sure how much other delay pedals do that. So let me know down in the comments because again, I'm kind of exploring these things for the first time and I'm, I'm curious to see if there are other delays that don't round off the top end, but this one definitely does. It's taken off some of that top end sparkle and chime. Again, turn it off. Yeah, it's taking a little bit of that top end twanginess away from the setup that we have going right now. I'm gonna click this into full humbucker mode. Let's click this on and we're gonna go over to the lead channel of my BEOD Deluxe. All right, that sounds good to me for a lead tone. I guess we could probably mix in even more delay and maybe do some more repeats a little bit longer on the time. One thing I did not mention is I don't believe that this has a tap tempo built into it. It's not really surprising at the price range. I know a lot of the other analog delays do have tap tempos built in. This one, you're just gonna kind of have to find the timing with the timing control. If I'm wrong about that, again, let me know down in the comments, guys, but I'm pretty positive that this does not have any sort of tap tempo function. my string noise yeah it's it is cutting off a little bit of that top end like I said but I think it sounds great uh, again I don't I don't really know a hundred percent I think it sounds great I think the functionality is simple like I understand how to use it and as somebody who's kind of a beginner to effects pedals again I am a metal and hardcore guy I am basically just used to playing fast chug rhythms and nothing else so I don't mess with this stuff very much but this pedal seems incredibly usable and at the $15 that I paid for it, I am more than happy with my purchase. So yeah, any tips or tricks that you guys can give me regarding this pedal, leave them down below in the comments. Or if you were here just to hear it and hear the review, what do you think about the sounds that I was able to get out of it? Whatever it is, let me know down in the comments. And this is a new channel. I am hoping to basically grow my effects knowledge with you guys. I basically started this channel to mess around with the tones that I don't get to mess around with on my other channel. So if you guys like that type of thing, if you guys like effects, if you guys like clean tones, Fender style guitars, pop, punk, alternative rock type riffs and type tones, do me a huge favor, like this video if you liked it and subscribe so you don't miss any of my future uploads.
And if you want to support what I do, down in the description of this video, I have affiliate links to Sweetwater and Zounds, as well as a whole bunch of other stuff that greatly helps the channel if you guys go down there and click on it. I would really appreciate it. Last but not least, you can put your name on this list of incredible people by joining my Patreon community and supporting the channel that way, and I'll be forever appreciative of you guys. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Kyle here again. We'll see you next time.